Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to deal with being in the hot seat. As an administrative professional, we are put in the hot seat. We may be put in the hot seat a lot, or we may not be put in the hot seat very often. But usually we're put in the hot seat by two people. Your executive that you work for will unintentionally sometimes put you in the hot seat or put you in the hot seat when you are least expecting it or taking you totally by surprise. You yourself can also put yourself in the hot seat and you can actually do this on the same way, not realizing that you've put yourself in the hot seat, especially when you get really, really busy. In both situations, there's three things that you can do to help yourself get through being put in the hot seat. The first one is don't panic. Our initial reaction is to panic and be frantic. But you don't want to do that because that's when you start making mistakes. That's when you make the wrong decisions to fix you being in the hot seat. So stop and take a breath because that will actually help you from being panicky. So just take that refocus opportunity, stop, take that breath, count backwards from five, whatever you need to do to get yourself to calm down a little bit, just so that you can refocus. At that point, you're gonna come up with a solution. You're gonna come up with a solution that's either going to resolve 100% you being in the hot seat, or it's going to cool the hot seat down. But you have to have a solution regardless, because the only way to actually have the hot seat go away is to come up with a, a viable solution. And the only way you can come up with a viable solution is, is to take a few steps in not panicking and take that breath. And always remember that every administrative professional at one point or another is going to be in the hot seat. It is actually part of the job. There are things, days are not perfect, things happen. Um, your executive may decide to do something and they don't want someone else involved and it's gonna put you in the hot seat because you didn't you know, do the proper uh, you know, system, you know, they want to go around the system. So you're doing what your executive wants you to do, which can put you in the hot seat with other people. So it's all, it's a matter of how you handle that. And we always have to make sure that we handle it professionally in the best possible situation. And we don't want to upset your, the others or yourself. So this is just a few, three little tips that'll help you when you're put in the hot seat. So if you need any other tips or you want to reach out to me, feel free to at amy at amyreese.com. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.